wrestling team ready to go to see if Minnesota can start its season 2-0, just like the Badgers did. First look and slicing cross court is Andrew. Alicia Andrew right out of the gate. Avery Carlson gets her middle established early on to show that they are a threat. Baylor got pretty pin heavy last night, really going to Stowers and McGee on the outside, but establishing that middle is so important to open, opening things up for their pin hitters. Brasenio at the service line. First look for Minnesota, and they go back to Groats, and she is turned back. Stowers can do it all up front. A big stuff from the freshman. She did a great job tracking this set, staying with her hitter in a one-on-one -on -one situation, diving back inside to fill the seam. Stowers, the preseason Big 12 co-freshman of the year, and then all of a sudden it is 3-0 Baylor after that ace. Baylor kicking things off strong. Again, this is a young team, no seniors on this squad. This is a team that's gonna take a lot of risk. They're gonna continue to creep the ball down your throat. From the service line, offensively, they're gonna take some big rips. And Brasenio sails that one too far. One thing Coach Keegan Cook talked about with this Minnesota squad was really starting fast. They knew they had to do it yesterday against TCU. They didn't. They dropped that first set, eventually won the next three. But coming into tonight, they knew they had to start fast. Not necessarily the start they would have wanted down 3-1. And Minnesota is not able to get the stuff there. It's going to be point to Baylor going off the block. Phoebe Awalea in a good position to make that block. Hands just didn't get over fast enough to get the stop. It's four to one Baylor early with Ali Check behind the service line. Shaftmaster looks to a Hanson and she hammers it. This is a tactical move from Keegan Cook, putting Julia Hanson back in there for Lydia Grote on the opposite. Not just a normal DS but a DS that can hit these back row attacks to allow that other offensive option from the backcourt. It's Lanfair serving. Carlson on the slide, looks for Bibinbe. And Wooker on low. Wooker's so difficult to defend because she's got a cannon for an arm, even off the net, five or six feet. She's still swinging as hard as she can. Whether it touches the block or not, it's coming at you with some pace. Minnesota trying to pick things up after a slow start. Carlson back toward the net. It is check and a big dig by Hansen. Baylor out of system at the net. And the point given to Minnesota. Stowers trying to go off the block that time, trying to push it off of Shaftmaster, but you see Shaftmaster keeps those hands inside, nothing to tool off of. Landfair targets the freshman. Reserve, then attack. That's sent back. Shaftmaster looking for Wooker, and she splits the defense. What kind of Wooker's looking like a veteran out there? Shaftmaster finding her with so much pace in this transition play. It's a quick bang-bang play, but so much speed coming at it. Holding that middle just a little bit longer. A massive holding block, and the kind of Wooker just follows through, making it look easy. Minnesota on a run right now. To answer back is Stowers. And he's able to get it off the hands. Stowers might just be 5'11", but she's so explosive as an attacker, and she plays a lot taller and bigger than she looks. And just the way we saw her impact the game, she had this kind of confidence and fearlessness in every facet. Someone who can play all six rotations, has high expectations for her career. Jaffmaster to Walker. Landfair now. Stowers tries to stay on top of it. Can't handle the heat. Minnesota's doing a great job in transition, not just getting the ball up, but really putting Shaftmaster in a spot to where she has all options available on offense. Skylar Gray coming in to serve. Carl 
This one goes cross court, looking for Elise McGee. And the Gophers are in trouble, but Wicker bails them out. And then dumped right over smartly by Carlson. Really smart decision. Bibinbe, the transfer from junior college in Missouri, gets it over. It's Wooker now, and she finds the floor. Keegan Cook, where he said after watching the tape meeting with her, he knew what he wanted to work on, but she came to him already having addressed those things. To her so early on in her career, it's very impressive. Carlson goes to land fair. Here is Groat. Groat going. She was the hot hand to start in set number one against TCU yesterday. Great job by Wooker keeping it alive. Her passing to Wooker, she takes a little heat off. Check. And free ball for the Bears. Carlson gets it cross court to McGee, sails it long. Wooker, an ace. Targeting right at the seam, it's so tough to pass. Wooker, he said, we don't want to be a team that just has maybe one or two that are our go to have that muscle memory. It can pay off. Surfing is really the only part of the game that you have absolute control over. Bears to return at all. Carlson goes behind her head, and there's the stop. Being that kind of blocker where you don't even want to set near her. Stowers far too long. At least the Sweet 16 all four years at Ohio State. Up the middle, it's Andrew again. Carlson was last year's Big 12 Freshman of the Year, but she was the highest recruit in program history. And for a program like Baylor, this says a lot about the expectations and the talent coming in that she's been able to continue. Really set to have a great career with the Bears. Hansen at the service line. And Bibinbe sends fire over the net, but dug by Wooker. Bibinbe one more time. Allie Check targets Landfair. No, almost no one there for that next contact. Bibinbe off the slide, and Landfair and Alalea send it right back. Legacy, even the pressure of it, he wants that responsibility. Stowers goes over the block that time. Smart shot by Stowers. She normally has that cannon of an arm. So the defense is expecting her to take a rip at all times. That's what makes that off speed so effective is she looks like she's going to take a big rip and then at the last second pulls it back. Stowers with three aces yesterday many ways she impacted their game. Walker, my goodness, but kept alive by the Bears. And it will be point to Minnesota. That got the Bears all out of sorts. This might have been the hardest ball I've seen. Listen to this, how hard. <laughs> I mean, my gosh. I think that's the hardest swing that we've seen so far in opening weekend. I mean, Emily, you were a libero. That's... Oh, I'm backing away from that. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that would scared me. And McGee slams it down, finding that space. She says I can hit it just as hard. Lisa McGee trying to follow that physicality up with a little bit of her own. She was big in that game against Wisconsin last night. 11 kills on the outside. Her top returner in kills. That goes off the arms of Landfair. Serve receive was something that Keegan Cook said Taylor Landfair is really going to have to hone in on this season. Jenna Wenis last year, their other outside who transferred out of the program, she took a lot of the load from a serve receive standpoint because she was such a good passer, but they know that Landfair has to step in and step up in that way. He said that is the plan for her. She's going to take on even more responsibility. Shaftmaster looks for Wooker, and what an attack by the sophomore. 500 to start. They go to Stowers. Here is McGee, but then, and there is Murr. Deeper on the bench 
but playing well in these first two matches to start her next redshirt season. Walker again, extremely hard hits, just crushed her. TCU for that matter, wanted to try to control it. Well, we saw last night as well, Lydia Grote on that right side pin. She could have a big night as well. Lauren Crowell into the game, and there is Murr out of nowhere. Stowers, Murr again. Carlson looking for check. Walker, a back row blast. I know you were very impressed with how she played in her Minnesota debut yesterday. Yeah, last night putting up 27 digs in her opener in a gopher jersey. I mean, players don't put those kind of numbers up all season, but in an opener, I think that tells you exactly what we can expect from her this season. Landfair tools it. And now have to figure out how to play with. It gives them a new perspective. Murr serving. First team all WCC back in Power Five after starting her career at Georgia. Murr can't corral that heat and a point to Baylor. But Awalea showing that she belongs at this level. She was top five in the SEC her first two years and blocks per set. And they are welcoming her talent, her athleticism, and also her maturity and leadership. The coach Keegan Cook said she's the most physical athlete that we have, and we're definitely going to need that playing in the Big Ten. And Fair goes over the block. Stowers. And Fair once more with a little trickery. They go back to Stowers. Almost kept alive. Arsenio, who's on that team with Wooker and Check at the service line, and it's Crowell. Brother Steven, member of the Badger men's basketball team. Minnesota once more. Awalea in the preseason poll to open this season. Carlson out of the timeout. Stowers going above the block. Awalea getting a look on the slot. Stowers once more gets it off the hands. Stowers showing just how crafty she is. She's ripped some cross court, but this time takes a little bit of speed off and goes back to that 1-6 seam. With the way things are looking so far, if things don't go right if she doesn't get that kill. She's going to get it back really soon, too. Yeah, Avery Carlson really trusts her to get that kill, and they need that from her, especially for a team that is so young. They have to rely on someone. And if that's a freshman, they're going to do it. Team high five kills for the freshman Stowers. Here's Hansen again. And the point is going to go to Baylor. She was over that attack line. Julia Hansen, always a back row attacker. If any part of her foot touches that 10-foot line, she's going to be called for a back row attack. Landfair lets it go. And there is no second contact. Jeff Master really pushing the speed with Landfair, and we've seen that evolve over the last year or so, getting them going with tempo on the pins. Landfair will be back to serve, facing set point. such a jam-packed non-conference schedule. Non-conference has been so fun throughout the past few years because we've seen a lot more parity around the country. And these teams, they want to play high-level teams to see where they're at. That's what Keegan Cook wanted to do and head coach Ryan McGuire for Baylor. They want to test themselves early on to see where they're at. Every coach says, we don't want to be surprised in December. And Cook himself says, we will know what it takes to win a national championship by the end of next month. Murr after that kill by Crowell. Oh 
Elise McGee, a nice looking serve, gets Minnesota out of system. Even for the bottom teams in the conference, those teams are getting better and they're continuing to push those top teams. An ace for Elise McGee, who's having the serve working right now. And an example right there, how there can be some inconsistency. Hansen back to serve. Up the middle, it's Andrew. Trying to place it over from the back row is Hansen. And then another block, Avalea. Carlson looking to Stowers, and Baylor with the one-point lead. Shaftmaster dumps it in. She sold everyone. Check whips it over. And that is out. She had seven kills on 27 attempts, but seven errors. And that time a service error. We knew Keegan Cook was going to be rotating some players in. He said you can't play TCU, Baylor, and Texas to start the year in quick succession. You just underestimate the physicality of this game if you think we're going to play the same players every single set. Carlson goes behind her head. Jack had to readjust, and she finds space. Stowers at the service line. Almost an ace there, but Minnesota sticks with it. Carlson tries to return with the dump in. Free ball for the Gophers. And they go to Hooker. That's how you end it. Minnesota's transition defense doing wonders for this team. In every situation, they're calming the chaos, just keeping that ball in play, getting up after up. And in a one-on-one, -on -one, McKenna Walker's going to beat you every time. Seven kills, no errors, 13 swings. It's 538 hitting for the sophomore. Shaftmaster looking to Walker once more. And there it is. She can also take a little bit of finesse with it and go off speed to perfectly place these shots. The strides that McKenna Walker has made in just one season is absolutely outstanding. I can see why Keegan Cook was so high on her coming into the season. Look to McGee again, and it works for the Bears. They're within one. Baylor's doing a great job really exploiting that middle of the court, trying to find that donut so right behind the 10-foot line in the middle. They're really exploiting that. Minnesota having a difficult time picking it up. Victoria Davis sends that long. Minnesota took set one 25 to 20, but there were moments just like in this set where they were completely in control. Looker off the tape though, misses. Slaps her hands at the attempt. Carlson serving. Someone who is a threat from the service line. Second on the team last year with 30 aces. Shaftmaster sets it low for Davis. Check. Brown with a lot of heat there, picked up. And sent back. Minnesota is controlling that side of the court against anyone that's hitting outside for Baylor. They're working so well together, making sure to turn those hands back into the court, and it's resulting in a lot of stuffs. Brown with two blocks. Minnesota with six as a team. Triple Baylor. Up the middle, Andrew just misses. Point to Minnesota.
Winchester feeding Wolfer. Good effort by McGee to get there for the dig. And then check two long a point to the Gophers. Credit to the Minnesota defense keeping them in that play, allowing that offense to run, resulting in a chaotic situation on Baylor's side. Ali Check just not able to slow it down, keep the ball on Minnesota. Minnesota opening up a four point lead against the number 15 team in the country. And it is McGee tooling it off the block. McGee saw Landfair's hand was not turned back into the court, was eight angled out just a bit, so she could use that block to her advantage. You see Landfair, that hand not quite turned in. She's able to tool it off. McGee came into this season saying, I know we have a lot of really great freshmen, but I want to get those swings in. I can impact this team. She had 11 kills in their loss to Wisconsin and has come up in big moments. Already four kills for her on 12 swings. Hampson serving for Minnesota. Gets the Bears well out of system. Stowers gets it over. Landfair just sails wide. Fair, three kills, seven swings for her, a couple blocks as well. Good effort by Hansen. Keeps the rally alive. Before Check sends it out of bounds. Check can be so lethal for this Baylor team, but it doesn't look like she's found her rhythm so far throughout these first two games. She's got a hammer for an arm, but she hasn't really been able to use it too much. Last night, hitting zero, she was just a bit too high error. And you're right, she's hitting in the minus right now, 167 on 12 swings. As that ball goes into the net, and Check will go to the line. Second team all Big 12 last season, looking to continue to make a jump in her sophomore year on a young and experienced team in Shaftmaster. Talk about experience. That's what you get from your 6-3 setter. You think of Temi Thomas Ilara, but you have to put her in the category of just the heaviest arms and biggest swings in this conference. Yeah, she's just, just a heavy, heavy arm and gets it from a lot of different places. She gets it in. The Gophers watched it go by. Stowers doing everything for this team. It's no wonder she was picked as co-preseason freshman of the year for the Big 12. She can do it all. It's so smart for her to go right at that passer that's pulled out of serve receive. Two aces for her now. Walker turned back. And then Shaftmaster tries Landfair. Up the middle, it's Davis spreading the love, and it leads to a point for Minnesota. Davis hasn't been too involved in the offense, but she knows in these transition plays, when that defense is back on their heels, she can throw in that easy light tip right over the block to catch him off guard. She, like Wooker, is looking to have a full injury-free season. That's something that hampered her a little bit in her first season here in Minneapolis after playing her freshman season at Ohio State. McGee patient, and it pays off. McGee used power to get through Davis on that one, just unloading on this ball right at the hands, but enough to get through the seam. McGee, five kills, second on the Bears. Shaftmaster sets it up for Wooker, and that was tipped. Another kill for McKenna Wooker. McKenna Wooker is bringing it every single play. We haven't seen her go to off speeds too much, because she's got an arm like that that just goes right through the block and sneaks inside. Out 
there on the serve. That makes it a one-point game here. Carlson, very strong server, now back at the line. Shaftmaster looking for Crowell, goes off speed. Murr there for the dig. It is Walker taking some heat off as well. McGee tries it herself. And check just unloads, but out of bounds. Check really finding a hard time getting that rhythm under control, and especially at a system, just taking swings and going long on a few of them. As a lefty, she has so much space to hit down that line, just cuts it a little bit too much, trying to avoid that block of land fair that's gotten her a few times. Carlson up the middle, and it's check she goes to first. Landfair tries to make something happen out of system. Deep set to Landfair. Big dig by Shaftmaster. McGee tries one more time off speed, and Shaftmaster once more laying out. Up the middle, Andrew. has that tipped. Minnesota survives that rally. Go for defense, hanging in there. Melanie Shaftmaster, the setter, up after up. So impressive, sacrificing her body. And again, a one-handed up with that right hand. So impressive, keeping the Gophers alive, resulting in the point. Up by three. Check needed that. Smart decision from Carlson to move Check around a little bit with that lefty hand, especially bringing her in front on a two ball. It's even harder to block for those blockers up front. Is there something that Gophers are doing in particular to try and take Check out of things? I think Check is just making a few too many errors. It was something we saw last night as well. I mean, Check hitting in the negative right now. They're forcing her to hit in certain spots, you know, down the line, cross court, but she's just missing a little bit too long. And Crowell powers it through the block. It was Lydia Grow last night, but tonight Lauren Crowell on the opposite, hitting so well, her fourth kill of the night, doing a great job, putting some power behind her swings. Minnesota not happy about that missed call, but they play on. Crowell results in the kill. This coaching staff has asked Crowell to take more risks. They're encouraging her to be more aggressive. Probably very angry. I mean, you have a team that's used to winning nearly every single game and losing your opener on the road to a non-ranked team. That doesn't happen to a team like Texas. They're going to be hungry for a win. This is the Longhorns' first loss since last October. They're going to give the point to Baylor. And it is a three-point contest. Shaftmaster trying to go up on the stump. Really smart decision, just clips the top of the net right at the end. Dump was perfect to play, though. What a score. Brasenio trying to work the Bears back, trailing one set to nothing. That's a good start. Bersenio's got a nasty serve. She puts so much pace on this ball. She's a little bit shorter, just standing at 5'7", so she's really able to unload on it. She is someone who's worked herself from a walk-on to a starting libero. One of the best teams in the Big 12. Landfair takes a little heat off. Murr calls everyone off. Landfair one more time. Bersenio there takes the heat. Hansen going off speed. And Stowers just misses long point to Minnesota. Ryan McGuire a little bit frustrated on the sidelines with that one. 
But when you have a freshman taking as many swings as someone like Kendall Stowers is, those mistakes are going to happen. You're going to see her, you know, chop a ball back to that 1-6 seam a little bit deep, but at least she's going for the smart shot there. Already 20 swings hitting 100 right now. And Check slices cross court. Good adjustment from Check, taking a little bit of pace off of that one. Her errors have come from when she's just unloading on it, but smart of her, take a little bit off and just place it well. And her last couple kills in this set have looked really strong compared to early on. Chapmaster, the dump perfect. Chapmaster is finding the perfect times to get a little bit offensive up front. On these tight passes, Baylor has to recognize that she is a threat. You gotta get a middle up with her. Make sure that you at least get a touch on it. Three kills for Shaftmaster. Stowers, it is out. And Minnesota has set points. It's no wonder they're holding opponents down. McGee on set point. It is Stowers powering it through. With this young team, Ryan McGuire wants them to take risks. And even though Minnesota has set point, they're going to continue to keep swinging. Stowers at the service line, trying to extend this set. to the Gophers. Finally, Big Ten season is underway. That's why non-conference is so important, to test yourself early on. Stowers with getting rejected. It's Awalea and Crow teaming up. Awalea has fully contained Baylor's hitters tonight doing such an incredible job up front. Six blocks on the night already in such great position to make the play. And those hands just wrapping down. Arsenio gets in front of Stowers. Or looks to Crow and gets it off the hands. How about that kind of playmaking? Lauren Krause really stepped up tonight, not starting the game, but came in off the bench in the opposite position, has really lit it up, hitting 400 tonight. Five kills for her, just one air. Check, far out of bounds. Serve left shallow, check. Crowell getting another look, and she is making the most of the touch she set. Crowell slicing that one inside, showing off her range, getting back out of system. Kylie Moore really trusting her, sending that ball all the way from the left side of the court to the right. Six kills for Lauren Crowell. And then a service ace. Minnesota up 5 nothing. Minnesota wants to go home early tonight. Baylor has got to figure this out early on. A miscommunication cannot happen this late in the game. Ideally, you want your libero taking that to let Stowers go hit. Stowers into the block. Minnesota able to contain Stowers on that play. But she barrels it through, putting Binbabe. Landfair giving the Bears a free ball. And Alalea turns it back once more. She is taken over at the net. One on one stuff for Alalea up front. Her teammates in disbelief. Melanie Schaffmaster with the hand over her mouth. Like, I cannot believe it. Great tracking from the middle blocker, staying inside, taking away that exact line of approach. Stowers.
Edwards flips it over. It's land there, and she has that rejected by Check. Check did a great job identifying that set was a little bit tighter, so she didn't have to go up too aggressive, just get those hands over in time, knowing that Landfair was probably going to try to use her. Seven blocks. She's got 13 to start this season for the transfer from the LMU. And you think that blocking is so much about cohesion with your new teammates, especially when you are on a new squad, but a lot of these have been so low. It's just been her reading the play and executing. Aulaya has read so well, especially those one-on-ones in the middle. She's taking away that line of approach so well. She knows that scouting report like the back of her hand. Hansen skies. Stowers, Aulaya! Are you kidding? That's eight blocks today. Aulaya putting on an absolute blocking clinic up front. Watch her hands and how they wrap over the net. She gets them turned down. At the last second, she flexes them downwards for the stuff. She's now just one shy of her all-time career high. And there, in on the play again, Aulaya! You have to keep it away from her. Nine blocks tonight. This is how she's finishing them. Watch her hands that last second. She dives them back down. So you can't tool her because her hands are already back down to the court. So they go straight down. No one can cover those balls. And McKenna Walker just whips it down. <laughs> Minnesota put, putting on a clinic in all kinds of ways. Minnesota really pulling away right now. Now up six here, trying to get that sweep against number 15, Baylor. Baylor's had enough, taking that timeout. Two and oh in Minnesota, trying to do the same. They lead two sets to nothing and lead here in set three, coming out of a Baylor timeout. And that's who they're gonna go to right after. Stadium in Lincoln as the fifth ranked Huskers take on Omaha all this week, powered by unleaded 88, only on the Big Ten Network. And that is right, that's her first air tonight. McGee has to reset her feet. Looker off speed and off the hands and hitting 500 today against number 15. Carlson looks to McGee again. Hansen can't quite get there for the second contact and a point to the Bears. It's a team and Minnesota with a dominant 10 blocks. Davis able to sustain the rally. And Shaftmaster says, not only can I set, I can score and I can block just in the right spot to make this hands over quick. Shaftmaster already a double-double. 18 assists, 12 digs. It's off the hands of Murr who couldn't quite get there. Carlson serving for the Bears. Hasn't registered an ace today. Six for Baylor as a team. Davis right up the middle. Jackmaster hasn't gone to her middle blockers too much tonight in terms of offensive production, but that was tactical and going at the right time, reestablishing them as a threat. Middle as well, Benbibe. And it will be a point to the Bears. Strong swing from Benbibe in the front court. Minnesota gets it up, but a net violation, just clipping that on the way down from the block. McGee, that top returner, one of the most experienced players on this team at the service line, looking to steady her team. She goes right back to Davis for good reason. 
Well, it worked the first time. Why go away from it? Shaft master to Davis. Electric here in this third set, feeding her time and time again. Davis is delivering. And off of this hard topspin serve from McGee, really well handled by Murr, allowing that middle to happen. Carlson. And another block, Awalea. And the kill. Doesn't matter if it's Awalea up front or Davis, Shaftmaster is now finding them again and again. It's so important in transition to get your middles involved on these free ball passes because it opens things up for those other pin hitters, and these middles are putting it away. Check slices it cross court. Awalea still at nine, tying her career high. Looking for double digits as she's able to score again. Service ace, giving the point to the Bears. In this rotation, when you have Wooker and Landfair passing next to each other, it can become really difficult because you have two outside. Shaftmaster right in front of them. That ball's coming right over her head. Shaftmaster tracks it down. Crowl on the attempt. Stowers, and there is Murr reading it mid-air. Shaftmaster looks to Awalea up the middle. Walker in the back row making the dig. Crowell gets another chance, and there is another kill, tying her career high of seven. And what a night for the Minnesota native. Defense has been the name of the game for Minnesota. Making plays like this, McKenna Wooker, one arm digs to the Zada system play. Lauren Crowell puts it away for this team. Defense working wonders right now. Keegan Cook told us this week, our defense is better than I expected coming into camp. We are dangerous at the net and behind, and that has been illustrated time and time again this match against Baylor. Lisa McGee says, that's my bad. Five point difference. McGee looking to grow to we haven't seen since the first set and she immediately gets a kill. Coming in off the bench can be so difficult. You might be cold, your arm isn't quite there, but to still take those big swings shows you that she's ready to go at all times. Groat in her debut, 11 kills. The Gophers have had a lot of options today. Carlson read well by McGee. Groat off speed, and a big dig by DaCosta. And off the whistle, it'll be a point to Minnesota after it hits the antenna. Baylor is going to call a timeout down by seven. So Landfair back to serve. Minnesota trying to close in on a sweep. This would be the second win under Keegan Cook. The first, of course, ranked win in his tenure leading the Gophers. Landfair feeding Walker. Simpson with the attack. Groats tools it off the block. She's come up big here in set number three. Coming in off the bench, so difficult to do, but Groat stepped in, and she's taken big rips to try to get Minnesota to that set three win. We talk about all the depth 
offensively that a team like Wisconsin has. And we're seeing that here with Minnesota, where Throat with double-digit kills. They strayed from her a bit because so many great performances as that goes out. 22-11. Baylor somehow keeps it alive. Awalea puts it down. Elise McGee into set as well. Not often do you see a setter coming in off the bench and automatically setting a middle blocker. That's how much confidence she has stepping in. Five straight points for Minnesota. Simpson. Here is Walker. Wow. Massive swing from Wooker, unloading such a difficult ball to hit, coming over her shoulder, and she takes a blind swing right at the block, hammering it through. Something Cook wanted to work with her on is her timing. He said she doesn't feel like she needs to rush, but there are moments when she can do that. Banging it down for a kill. Just so much strength in that shoulder, in that hand. Big smiles from her as she is dominating. 14 kills. Coming off a 16 kill match. Point to Minnesota. Who else but Phoebe Awalea is right there. Awalea dominating up front. Putting up match point for Minnesota. Simpson, and what a way to end Awalea. The dominant force at the net, and she makes the stop. Minnesota wins three to nothing.